Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Dragon Quest VIII. All right, there's actually a recipe that I want to I want to make, but uh, I don't have the recipe for it. Not that I need it, but just for the purposes of getting it. We'll get this, and I'm going to leave it empty for a moment. You made a divine bustier. There we go. All obtains the divine bustier. All right, before I put anything else in, let's go check that out. Mysterious bustier that allows the wearer to dodge enemy attacks more easily. So that's 105, that's 103, so... This is the best armor for Jessica. Jessica exchanges her liquid metal armor for the divine bustier from the bag. Equip this now? Yep. So that is 101. So if we compare, so 216 to 212. So the uh, dragon robe is better for Angelo. Reduces damage from curses by two thirds. I don't know what curses that affects because most curses don't deal damage in this game. Like the, the actual curse effect in battle um, just makes you lose your next turn. Um, some of the equipment that's cursed might have a damaging effect, but I'm not sure about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this, and we want to go to Pick'em. So there should be a recipe here that I can pick up. It only shows up after a certain point, and there's no real indication that it exists. But you can you can see that there is something there on the ground. All finds an Eros's bow recipe and puts it in the bag. A strange document that contains tips on how to make Eros's bow. Hold reads the Eros's bow recipe. Eros's bow recipe combine a hunter's bow and a certain item. The certain item is something that makes you happy simply by looking at it. Hold discovers a new recipe for the alchemy pot. Eros's bow equals hunter's bow plus it makes you happy. Uh, th this is extraordinarily arcane. Uh, I should have a hunter's bow, I think. Otherwise, I might have to go buy one. Yes, I do. Okay. And I know I have the other item. Uh, so this has actually been available since the um, since we got the uh, the magic ship, and I just kept forgetting to uh, come get here, get it. All right, so hunter's bow. And something that makes you happy just by looking at it. So you want to pop the hunter's bow and the garter in the alchemy pot, do you? Yep. See? The garters are useful for something. <laughs> All right, next up, let's go to Trodane. <laughs> I forgot. Well, it hits his head on the ceiling. Yes. So good. I can't I cannot believe that they took that out of uh Dragon Quest 11. I I was so disappointed when that when they did that. <laughs> I could not remember if that was in here or not, in this game or not. Oh, I'm so glad that we got that ha to happen. Yep. 
There is something there. Alt finds an imp knife recipe and puts it in the bag. Alright, before we read that, let's go get the next one. door. Alright, this is a little bit of a hike to get this one, but... So the day has finally arrived. We will all die. Every one of us under this burning sky will die in the flames of hell. She seems so happy about it. Uh, people stay saying that the Holy Isle of Neos has been destroyed, but it's just a ridiculous rumor. This is Savella Cathedral. Its doors are always open. Yes, always. Oh, goddess, oh, goddess, my faith is absolute. I have devoted myself to you. Not once have I missed a day of prayer. I beseech you, save me, save me from this horror. No, you say you've done it every day, but there was actually one day that you didn't. You were seriously sick. Very, very sick, and you slept for more than 24 hours. And for that, I will not save you. This is actually one game where the, uh... The priests may be evil, but the church itself is not. Ah. I'll find a dragon slayer recipe and puts it in the bag. All right, so that one, uh, so the the one we got at Trodane Castle um, appears after you defeat Dolmagus, and this one, excuse me, appears basically now after the uh, uh, the flying fortress thingy. Uh, shows up in the sky. Strange document that contains tips on how to make an imp knife. Alt reads the imp knife recipe. Imp knife recipe. Combine an assassin's dagger with an impishly evil item. Imp knives are said to drain an enemy's MP with each slice. Alt discovers a new recipe for the alchemy pot. Imp knife equals assassin's dagger plus something evil. And a document containing instructions on how to improve a Dragon's Bane Sword. Alt reads the Dragon Slayer Recipe. Dragon Slayer Recipe. You can improve a Dragon's Bane by combining it with some form of bracer. This is said to make the Dragon's Bane better than, better than new and far stronger. Alt discovers a new recipe for the Alchemy Pot. Grr, equals Dragon's Bane plus a, a kind of armband. It says Dragon Slayer Recipe. We know what it makes. Alright, so, on that note... Uh, let's see... So that's basically it. On the things that I... can think of doing right now. There might be something that I've missed. We shall see. Um, for now, however, I want to go... The Mystical Spring. We'll see if Medea has anything to say now, and this will also, of course, heal us up. All drinks from the, from the Mystical Spring. The party's HP and MP are fully restored. Let Medea drink from the Mystical Spring? Yes. All lets Medea drink the spring water. Is the world coming to an end? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go kick his butt. I'm, I'm so sorry. 
I lost control for a moment. No matter how frightened I am, I want you to know that I'll follow you to the ends of the earth. Also, you can see uh, Jessica's new outfit there. Um, so, Medea, I, I appreciate that, but you're also not going to follow me to the ends of the earth because you're most definitely not coming into the next place because it's a dungeon, and we're not allowed to take you into the dungeons. I'll do whatever it takes to defeat Ratthorn. Otherwise, I'd be able to access my alchemy pod inside there. As far as I'm concerned, our battle against Ratthorn began the day Dolmagus took the scepter. Now the sky I mean, is the color of fire, and the entire world is living in fear. This isn't just about Trodane anymore. Everyone's fate is in your hands. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Um, yeah, I know it's it's a it's a heavy burden, and and I will I will live up to it. <laughs> um, yes. And whatever happens, I'll stay by your side always. I appreciate the sentiment, but you're also not going to, because I can't take you in. I would take you in if I could, so I could get access to the alchemy pot. And also, the sky is not actually the color of fire right now. All right, let's use the god, god's bird, god bird's soul stone. Where is the evil blackness? Well, you know, we do have that. Okay. Straight east. I don't know if it moves. It doesn't look like it's moving. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just remembered. Let me actually put myself down. I wanna, I wanna check something first. Silly me. I meant to do it, and I, it slipped my mind. Right, we'll, 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 we'll be there in a second, Rapthorn. Hold, hold your horses, but not my horses. You're not allowed to have my horse. It's my horse. My horse princess. All right, we're going back to Fairbury because surely this guy will have something to say, right? Right? No, it's not you. It's you over here. You'll never guess what people are saying that Neos has been destroyed. Seems it all started when some ruffian stormed the new high priest's initiation ceremony. I bet they were minions from the underworld. They probably saw Neos as a thorn in their side. Huh? It was you? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean... Your own... Yes. They did have something new to say. All right. Beautiful. Okay, now. Totally worth it. I mean, seriously, it's like... There, there has been a, uh, a long period of time when he was not saying anything new. And it was, uh, it was disappointing. So I'm glad to see that he finally did say something new. Oh, actually, you know what? I should also... I don't think we have enough mini medals. So we will probably have to come out to get enough. Let's see. Well, hello. I'm Mini Princess of Medals, you know. I collect mini medals from all over the world. Oh, how simply delightful. You've brought one some mini medals already. Let one have a look then. This brings the total number you've brought one to 106. When the total reaches 110 medals, one shall bestow upon you a flail of destruction. An expression of our gratitude for your sterling efforts. Isn't it thrilling? All right. So I need four more. So hopefully the final dungeon will have at least four. 
does look like we will have to be back. All right. Now I think that I've done everything. Watch me think of something once I'm up in the air. I can't think of anything else now, 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 though. But then again, I couldn't think of anything else before either. So, you know. Yeah, it's just there. Okay, don't see anything to either side. Boss trolls appear. I do not have the best uh, boomerang right now. And I most definitely do not have the best bow. That is not actually what we're, we're making we're making is going to get us the best bow. That is, uh, that is Jessica's new outfit. New armor. And it is the uh, best armor in the game. For her. Might actually be the best armor in the game. I'm not sure. Okay, one down. Ow. Let's hustle dance. Oh good, she goes first. There's an actual tree in there. <laughs> Boss trolls are defeated. 852 experience points. Party obtains 112 gold coins. That's a nose for treasure. Yangus uses his nose for treasure. Boy, the smell of it. There's 18 treasures somewhere around here, Gov. All right, 18 treasures. Hmm. Archdemons appear. All right. Giga Slash. Stainless Steel Sickle. Shining Shot. Okay, they did not actually take that much damage there. down. Ah, they're immune to, uh, to bang. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Kaboom. Rude. Very much reduced damage on uh, Yankus for some reason. I will have to look at. Well, I don't have to. He's got some good protections, clearly. Archdemons are defeated. 1,254 experience points. Party obtains 186 gold coins. We have a room here. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
Okay, well, we have a, uh, a dark shrine of some sort. Can't really do anything with that. More boss trolls. B gazes upon Jessica in admiration. Okay. I need to do some healing. Hustle dance. Multi heal. Just to be on the safe side. Excellent. Let's do the hustle. Okay, well, she's the only one that actually needed it, but that's fine. Okay, Miracle Slash. Didn't actually need that, but it's okay. Ow, my face. Ow, my face! down. Okay, get the hustle dance going again. I do like free healing. Big fan of free healing. Hey, I just healed. Woo. Boomed on. Excellent. Okay, let's heal sickle and down he goes. All right. Boss trolls are defeated at 1,278 experience points, 168 gold coins. We got some bookshelves over there, some bookshelves over there. Let's see what we got. None of the books appear to be particularly interesting. Same. All right, there we go. It's the winter issue of a magazine called We Love Our Weapons. Having a hard time hacking down liquid metal slimes before they can flee? You're not alone. There's only one kind of weapon for situations like that. Like this. And that's the ultimate boomerang. The metal wing boomerang. Not only does it let you attack multiple enemies in one throw, but it's powerful enough to damage even the hardened body of a metal king slime. Sadly, the exact composition of these metal wing boomerangs is shrouded in mystery. All we know is that they're a combination of a certain po boomerang and another powerful weapon. All discovers a new recipe for the alchemy pot. Metal wing boomerang equals a boomerang plus a powerful weapon. I'm not sure if you can get all of the ultimate weapons at one time. None of the books appear to be particularly interesting. None of the books appear to be particularly interesting. There we go. The pages of this book are filled with squashed insects. All grimaces and quickly replaces the book on the shelf. Ah, yuck. One more recipes. Nothing. It's a book entitled Mask of Darkness. Those who wear the phantom mask cloak themselves in the darkness, making it more difficult for enemies to hit them. It is said that this mysterious mask is the product of the combination of a certain iron helm and a certain dark garb. All discovers a new recipe for the alchemy pot. 
Phantom Mask equals an Iron Hard Helm plus Dark Garb. Okay, none of the book books appear to be part particularly interesting. It appears to be a note written by an alchemist. Legend has it that combining a life bracer with a certain sword will result in the creation of a most miraculous item. The only question is, which sword to use? I've devoted 30 years of my life to the study of alchemy, and I still haven't figured it out. All discovers a new recipe for the alchemy pot. Another miracle equals a kind of sword plus life bracer. I think that's the uber miracle sword. Boss trolls appear, and a mimic king. It's about time for us to uh, wrap up the episode, but we'll, uh, we'll do some more reading first. Take a shining shot. I do want to get this bow upgraded, though, before we get too much farther in the game, in the uh, dungeon. Because again, part of the problem with uh, ow. Anything that you make in the alchemy pot right now is that you gotta leave, and that's pretty fantastic, getting both of the, uh, the trolls. That is pretty fantastic. Now I need more. Maybe you can only restore as much as the enemy has hit points. And that's why. That, that would explain that. are defeated. Each party member receives 1,254 experience points, 183 gold coins. Did Ald cast that this time? Dang it, Ald. Stop that. Ooh, hello. Wad Ald finds a map of the Black Citadel. All right. So we've got uh, the start of our map here. Well, by start, I mean the map. It's a shelf full of ancient chronicles. Our Lord of Darkness, Rapthorn, has launched his glorious new campaign to reign over the world of light. However, pathetic would-be Godbird has attempted to stand between the Lord, uh, the Dark Lord and his magnificent ambitions. Nevertheless, our mission to subdue the world of light proceeds as planned, and no one, god or man, shall stand in our way. It's a shelf full of ancient chronicles. Long ago, the world of darkness and the world of light were united as a single chaotic whole. Our great Lord Rapthorn has begun the process as shall see the two worlds united once more. When his glorious goal is achieved, Rapthorn will no longer be rever revered as the Lord of Darkness, but hailed as the Lord of all creation. Okay, nothing. Nothing. You'd think there would be some interesting books on amongst all of these. Nothing. Nope, oh, shoot. Accidentally misclicked. Nothing. It's a shelf full of ancient chronicles. 
The Lord of Darkness created a floating fortress to amplify his near limitless power and act as a gateway between the worlds of light and darkness. When the portal between the two worlds finally opens, the light, the Dark Brotherhood, will flood into the world of light and fill the skies. When this comes to pass, the feeble minions of light will be annihilated. Doomsday approaches and the poor fools can do nothing to stop it. Nothing. A foul fighter and boss trolls. Giga slash you. Go. Giga Slash. Ow. My face. Ow. My face. Probably should not have shining shot, but whatever. It's fine. Nice. All right, boss troll A gazes upon Jessica in admiration. Nice, perfect. Enemies are defeated. Each party member sees uh, 1,228 experience points and 172 gold coins. Nothing. 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 There we go. It's a book of prophecies. When Chiron and Eros meet with a great bow, the result will be a god to be reckoned with. All discovers a new recipe for the alchemy pot. A great bow equals Chiron's bow, plus Eros's bow, plus a giant bow. Chiron's bow. Great bow. And we're making Eros's bow right now. It's a book entitled Ancient Super Weapons. There are many weapons in the world, but the Megaton Hammer is famed as the heaviest of them all. Unfortunately, all who knew how to make it, make this ferocious weapon, have long since passed on, and the exact recipe has been forgotten. All we know is that a big axe, a big hammer, and some or a halcom are required to make the Megaton Hammer. I'll discover a new recipe for the alchemy pot. Megaton Hammer equals a big hammer plus a big axe plus or a halcom. None of the books appear to be particularly interesting. It's a shelf full of ancient chronicles. Imperia and her pathetic human minions can muster little in the way of resistance, but caution is required when dealing with the Dragovians. They were nearly wiped out the last time they faced the Lord of Darkness in battle, so they, the chances of them joining the fray are slim. Still, we must determine where they have hidden themselves. There must be no surprises when Rapthorn's Day of Reckoning comes. The Dragovians, huh? None of the books appear to be particularly interesting. Alrighty. And that is the end of this chamber. All right, well, we've uh, been through uh, the library, gotten some interesting recipes, some of which we will absolutely use. But when we come back next time, we will be continuing to explore the castle, at least until I get my, uh, my uh, next recipe done. See you next time, everyone. <laughs>